we all have our responsibility, whether you're a, leading a small business or a big business, in actually saying we will act in favour of equality, decent jobs, treating people with respect, helping people live a life with dignity and making sure kids get a great start in life. The rights of children is for everyone to protect. We have a duty of care. All businesses, large or small, have an impact on the lives of children. The children's rights and business principles outline how a company can respect and support children's rights. Let's think about how our business influences children and how we could change our business so that this influence and this impact is positive. Say the children can bring the experience of working with children and the expertise of working with children. We're not asking business not to do business, but to do business in another way and get children into the strategic business plan. Save the Children can assess your impact on children, from sourcing of raw material to the factory floor to sales and marketing. We bring the knowledge of children, what works for children, how you transform the lives of children, how you reach the most vulnerable children. We have that knowledge. We can cut the journey very short for many companies. Since 2009, over 30 companies, large and small, have worked with Save the Children in different parts of the world. When we started this whole process, we, we thought it was about child labour. But children's rights is, is a lot more. And I don't see it as an extra cost. I see it as a cost of doing business. If you have a true long-term perspective, this is, needs to be a part of your core business to drive this agenda. Starting from ourselves, our belief is the most important thing. We truly believe in the, uh, the child labour issues um, shall, not, shall be eliminated and we truly believe in that we shall respect and support children's rights. Everything we do, whether it's advertising, whether it's our products and services, whether it's procurement, everything has to be looked through that rights-based lens. And if you can do that, then you'll end up doing the right thing. Get a little bit of advice. What, what would this mean for you as a company? Uh, what would be your focus areas? Um, and it doesn't mean you have to revolutionize everything you do and uh, you know, change the world. No, no, you're a for-profit company. But still, if you start understanding and doing things uh, piece by piece, then it becomes a lot less complicated. I think the corporate sector is ready. I think what we will see more is companies really analyzing how do we influence the lives of children in our sphere of business and how do we want to change our contribution to society. Do you think your business has a long or short term future? If you believe it has a long term future, you have to address rights based issues. And um, the, the business case is, um, is pretty straightforward to me. If you can construct the business case to do the right thing, why would you possibly do the wrong thing? It has to be fundamental in your way of doing business, sincere. Find out more about the children's rights and business principles and how Save the Children can help change your company and the lives of children.